All right, moving on. We got after we got the uh, most anticipated list. And there's not probably not gonna say too much about these just because, duh. Mass Effect Three. Why the fuck do you think it's on this list? Yeah. <laughs> Diablo Three. Yeah. South Park the game. I, this is I I don't know much about this game, but I'm just I'm I'm excited. It's made by a company that I makes a lot of RPGs. That are like decent-ish, at least. It's a South and Park it, game. It's, it's being written by mm. Trey Parker and Matt Stone, and what I've seen of the visuals so far, it, well, even when it's moving, it looks like the show. So, like, if you like the show, then I think it actually might have a chance. The only thing is, I'm just worried about what kind of RPG it might be, because there's certain RPGs I like a it lot looks like more a turn, than others. It looks like a yeah, turn-based RPG. That's why I'm a little worried, because like I don't, I'm not, I'm not in love with turn-based RPGs. Darkness Two. Oh I'm, oh, I'm so excited for that. Would you say the Darkness, the original Darkness, is one of the most underrated shooters on the 360? Period, or like, or you know, I kind of don't because the first one had such terrible shooting mechanics. It kind of did, but the the fucking the storytelling story was so good, so awesome. Just, I I just blazed uh, through the game and I never wanted to stop playing. I I've played it I think three or four times now uh, on the Xbox. I like yeah. as soon as it was like, hey, it's for Xbox download. I was like, I'm fucking buying that game. I'm going to play this game, and I've played it so many times. I've been trying to get all the achievements for it. It's just such a good game. The Bioshock Infinite. Oh, that was just, uh, that's just so sexy. It's just, <laughs> that's it. It just looks sexy. It's a, it's it, a, it's did, a Bioshock-like the, game, but it doesn't have anything to do with the original Bioshock, so you don't have to worry about them shitting on it by, by yeah. making you replay the same environments again and like making you not care about anything like how Bioshock 2 did. And it's like it's it's almost like having Bioshock in the titles just to the notification like yeah we're making another game like this and it's gonna be awesome too enjoy this world. <laughs> Did you see the the behind the scenes of that when the, the making of it? Like, Probably when, I don't know I've seen a lot the, of videos about this when they were doing like the voice acting and they're showing like how they do the voice acting for it and they like they get into character so well it's just <laughs> the game's so well made. Battle but, Block uh, Theater. This just looks funny as fuck. I yeah, don't understand. A, it just looks so it, creative I, and I'm funny. I'm not even just, sure if I fully understand this game, but it's like some sort of two D puzzle platformer that has both co-op and competitive elements to it yeah and a great sense of humor because it's it's behemoth they yeah. make really funny games uh um, counter-strike global offense just because a uh, global offensive just because it's like we i need a new counter-strike yeah. i'm so tired of the fuzzy modern warfare I, lo shooters. I logged in the counter-strike to do the uh, steam achievement where it's like it's like get three uh gifts for the uh, competition thing Oh, there was one for Counter Strike. Yeah, there was one for Counter Strike. Oh, I didn't see that. And I'm like, this game needs to be updated. Yeah. I'm sorry, this game just it just it looks like it was made back then. Like, yeah, <laughs> it but it looks so. Funny. But you know, it's so it's such a fun game, and there's so much cool. There's so many cool yeah, elements like, to it. Like, it's so fun to play. And but it's so it's simplistic. Just, there wasn't a point where it's like, there, I want this to look more like a modern game before it reach, goes over that cliff eventually. Of like, yeah. I can't tolerate the way this looks anymore. Yeah, and so it's like it. Uh, it just it was such a great game. Uh, Dead or Alive Five. That's all you. I just fucking love Dead or Alive. I'm just I, gonna leave it at that. I, oh. I just I have a lot. Uh, the idea of like a, a fast paced combat with a lot of combos, but then it also but it, what, the best thing is that it has like this the countering system where it's like oh this guy is fucking absurd with all of his combos, but it's not like Street Fighter where it's like oh it's M Bison's final boss doing the fucking dash thing over and over again. It's like I, if he's gonna keep doing that, I know what to do to it because I just do this direction with X and then I fucking. Murder room I have for no idea what you're talking about. Fighting games go beyond my head. <laughs> Press buttons. Win. Basically, when people spam stuff that's really that's really powerful, but then you know they're gonna do it, but you're just frustrated by the fact that in a lot of fighting games, like I I know what they're gonna do, I just don't know what like what the fuck I can do about it. Uh, de de uh, Dead or Alive's like, well, use your counter. It's like there's four types of counters. You know what type of attack it is. Use that counter. Ta da! It's like mm. aha, anti spam. Dota two. Dota two. Defense of the Ancients. And I am. Basically, I liked Dota. I'd like to see more games made in that style. Let's see how it goes. There's, I guess it's gonna be like a Dota two made by Valve, and there's gonna be like a Dota like, like a Blizzard game or something like that has like Blizzard in its name. I think it's so fucking bizarre. Basically, there's two separate companies making a new Dota game, and they have really weird naming conventions attached to it. Okay. But yeah, Dota two made by Valve. Like it's made by it's Valve. Like I think they'll do good. Halo four. I know fuck all about this game, but I want it to come out at the end. <laughs> we, we, it's, it's so far off that I, I just don't, I just know. don't understand. I don't what know the anything fuck about it's gonna it. be about. I have no idea. Like all I know is that I fucking called it when at the end of Dragon Age, at pff, Dragon Age, at the end of Halo Three when he gets frozen in the time capsule. I'm like, I mean, he gets frozen in like the stasis and shit. I'm like, that's it. They they put they put the toy in the box. They can bring it out in any era they feel like it and invent an entire new. But they can't. He's falling to the fucking Forerunner world, which brings. 
the whole game back into a giant loop of going back to the original game, Forerunner, which was a guy wearing advanced armor on that's, an alien uh, planet. That's fighting, Marathon. Or Marathon. It's like, <laughs> but it, that was on the Forerunner planet. That it still hasn't been made clear to me exactly what ha what those two have to do with each other. I, th I think Bungie's being intentionally vague about it, and then Bungie doesn't have anything to do with this anyway. Thank God. I think what's going to happen is that he's going to meet up with the other uh, Spartans. But the, just because what, the other two that survived, the rest of them are all no, missing uh, in action or dead. Well, the, technically they're all the, missing in no, action. No, like there's the because they're, uh, all... they're all yeah they're all ranked as missing. Yeah, they're they're there's, all... there's that there's the uh, the last one that I read in the. Spartans don't die. The Halo series. There's one called uh, Ghosts of Onyx, where like a whole yeah, squad, like Onyx. a whole squad of Spartans gets stuck on a shield world. But they're not Spartans. And, and the, well, they're like Spartan like threes. John Spartans. Yeah, but they're still like I mean like I think that's what's gonna happen is you're gonna run into those people. Can basically. I kill them? And you're gonna be on like the ghosts. You're gonna be on a shield world. I don't know what they're gonna do with it though. But it's a Halo game. Like all right, I, whatever. I've never not liked a Halo game. It's only for multiplayer. I guess. Even though one of them was really disappointing to me this year. <laughs> Uh, Hitman Absolution. I'm just looking forward to this because I love killing people, and I love killing people in fun ways, and that's all Hitman's about. It's just like, hey, you don't like a guy? Throw him in a garbage disposal. Oh, all right, cool. I did yeah. it. And it's just, I just love Hitman. And they, we've needed a new one. Hitman hadn't come out in like almost three, four years, I think. It's been yeah. such a long time since the last Hitman, and it's, oh, it needs a new one, and I love Hitman. Um, and Metro, Metro last, last Light. Light. That was weird. But uh, That's such... I love Metro. I really enjoyed Metro. I thought it, w it was one of the big games that stood on par with me for like Bioshock when it comes to I'm creating just, And that's an another atmosphere. game that didn't come out this year. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, Metro 2033 came, came out, out last, last year. year. God Other damn it. Otherwise it would have made my list yeah. probably. Last year was such a good year. Damn it. Even, like there was a few flaws with it, especially parts where it's like, hey, you want to see your character in third person out of nowhere in this cutscene? Okay. No, I don't. It's like, why would you do that? Why'd you break the first person? But uh, atmos the atmosphere in that game is incredible. Both, incredibly both, scary. Both, both underground and whenever you go to the surface. Like, this feels like a real place surface. in all the most horrible ways. When I'm on like the surface, it feels like kind of like that point in when you're playing Sonic, when you're like running out of air. Yeah. You get so nervous when you're That's like, That's exactly okay. what it's yeah. like. There's, it's like, there's I can't flying. breathe in here, so I got to go as fast as possible. And then things are attacking me. I'm like, stop attacking me. I got to get out of here as fast as possible. That's exactly it. There's flying stuff that wants to murder you. And it feels just like, yeah, it feels like the Sonic thing. Where like, you know you're in danger at all times here. Yeah. You want to get out as fast as possible. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> uh. Prototype 2. I just fucking loved Prototype. Yeah. Just because you had so much you could do with that shit. And it was just never... I never stopped having fun with Prototype. It's just like, I just wanted to obliterate stuff. Quantum Conundrum. This looks like a sort of portal-like thing. Except instead of portals, you have alternate... Oh, uh, yeah, this game looked awesome. Yeah, you have alternate realities, basically. Like, different dimensions you can go to where the physics basically works differently. There's, like, a slow motion thing. Awesome. Or there's one where everything is, like, light and soft and stuff. And it's, like... It's, it's just awesome. another first-person puzzle game. Finally. That the, looks fun. People are <laughs> catching on to the portal effect. This one's all yours. Transformers, Fall of Cybertron. I, the only reason I, I'm excited about it is because I love watching, I love playing a game about Transformers that isn't fucking Michael Bay. Like, that's it. And I'm yeah. so tired of fucking, like, everybody believing Michael Bay Transformers is continuity. And this, like, the, the Transformers Cybertron series has always been about the original first generation Transformers. It's like, yay, this is how it started. This is the actual continuity. Yay, thank you. Someone actually appreciates me as a fan for Transformers. So this just looked like an awesome game. And the, and, and the Rise of Cybertron was, it was amazing too because I, I liked how it brought you through the story of why Optimus Prime is important and it wasn't just like a, hey, there's a guy and he's a truck and you're a good guy. The end. <laughs> like, no, it actually was like, hey, Optimus was like, Optimus, no! Yeah, like, it, was, it actually was like, Optimus was just a dude working his fucking normal shift and it's like, Optimus, you are going to be a Prime. And he's like, I don't want to be a prime. I can't lead people. I'm just a fucking dock worker. And he's like, no, you will be the best prime. And he's like, okay, I guess. What, what if he was a moisture, moisture farmer? No, he was, a, <laughs> he was a dock worker. He'd be the Luke Skywalker of the Cybertron world. <laughs> That'd be awesome. If only his aunt and uncle died. Oh, God. And then, Did they have parents? I don't know how that works. No, they were made, uh, they were made by uh, humans who then, or not humans, but they were like advanced Okay, humans? I'm gonna stop this right now. <laughs> I don't they're, even want to dive. I don't want to dive into this. They were made by this. advanced humans who then left. And they were made by the forerunners, <laughs> sorta. And then they they left to become to live on Earth, who are then the descendants of the human beings. Oh God. <laughs> so that's why that's yeah. It, don't worry about it. The continuity makes sense. Okay, XCOM. Uh, XCOM. That's all you. Yeah, that's all me. I, I'm not interested in that at all. I, to, I guess I should qualify this by saying like I played the Ghostbusters uh, third person shooter game and I enjoyed that. And that, that, uh, part of the reason I like the look of XCOM because it looks like that, but made by another like top level studio for making these kinds of games. And it's like, 
if I see a sci-fi shooter that looks like it's well made at all, I just kind of jump on that shit. Like I guess. sci-fi shooters come out uh, the, the, like the ones that aren't complete bullshit, like not ones that aren't about like oh look let's manipulate look, I'm gonna jump in your do head. We, do we have a contact with two K games? I have no idea, but we'll talk about that later. But uh, <laughs> but uh. When I just see a well-made sci-fi game, I'm like, I'm gonna jump on this shit because there's not gonna be another one for six months. <laughs> so I'm just, right. I, I just want to see how this works out. This idea of like mixing, like seeing a '50s setting, and then you have this woman like cooking in a kitchen, and then her face fucking turns into cubes and just falls away, and then there's like a giant like geometric shape floating over the street, and then it just starts fucking demolishing the street and the cars and the people like molecule by molecule. I'm like, I don't know. This is. I want to see what happens in this game. It, it has potential, but to me, it just I, like I'm not really interested in it. I'm just like, eh, it just doesn't seem like something I would be like. Yeah, fond it was of. one of those things where you saw it and like within a second of seeing, it, you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, I like I just I looked at it and I was like, this looks maybe, like a blend. Maybe, maybe it'll be another surprise for you. Though. No, it looked <laughs> like a blend between Bioshock and uh and um and Darkness. Like that's what it looked like. It looked like a blend between the two, where it looked like you're you're like fighting an unknown scary enemy. But you're also like really well armed. Like, On the bright side, though, they're good games. <laughs> I guess, but at the same time, it's like merging them together just sounds like a really scary child I don't want to look and at. You also have the ongoing thing of people being pissed off that some really old IP is being resurrected. To, I've never heard to be of in a different Xbox. genre. I've never heard of. I'd never had either, so I don't. So I don't I, care. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck at all. I really don't like, care if these not, people are bothered by this stuff. Yeah, that's not my concern. It's like, well, there's an established world to make games in. Why not make worlds in it? Like. How, I don't, how old is I, somehow, XCOM? Somehow I don't think the you, Warhammer uh, RTS fans are really that mad that there was a Warhammer shooting game. They aren't. Or a Warhammer, like... Well, some the, people, that's or, not true. Or, or some like, people or, were. Or some like the Warhammer dual stick shooter that was on Xbox Arcade. It's like, it's a universe you can make games in. Get over it. <laughs> like, you, wanna, you want this company to make a game that, that they're not good at making? Because <laughs> that's the only alternative, really. I'm curious about this now. What are you trying to do? I'm looking up XCOM. For what? I'm looking up like the original IP, like when was okay. when was it made? All right, so do you have anything to say for the uh, podcast, or should we wrap this up? Hold on one second. I want to search this up. I want to see just <laughs> how I want to see how old this is. How old? Oh, I think it's from like I think I saw a game, one of the games was from the '80s. First release was UFO Enemy Unknown, and it was from December 31st, 1993. So people who think this IP need like yeah. doesn't need to be reborn, go fuck yourself. That game was made a long ass fucking time ago. If you don't like it, get over it. Don't, like, spam shit that, with dislikes. That, and, and that's like, such a weird... I, okay, I want to see this. That's such a weird thing, too, because it's like... the, the say, Oh, my God. That's awful. Yeah. That's fucking yeah, that's, terrible. It's, the looking. cover's disgusting looking. But uh, is there any... it's this kind of thing where, like, it's, it's kind of easier just to grab the IP and, rather than try to awkwardly make a game that's like this idea, but then not make it like it because you don't want to step on toes legally. Oh, okay. What's going on? It it was a it was like a fucking tower defense kind of game in the beginning. All right. So, you wanted them to make another tower defense? But it just <laughs> it sounded like a terrible tower defense. Defense grid. XCOM. Like, it, literally, <laughs> it literally was like you basically set up. Uh, no, it, what? Uh, yeah, defense grid. It was basically defense grid. Th th and what if there it, was an XCOM expansion for defense grid? <laughs> that'd be awesome. Right next to but your monster. It just it it was literally like that. And actually, wait, the distributor was. Hasbro Interactive and 2K Games. Oh, God. That was back when... Oh, God, Hasbro. All right. I'm it was the same people, so wrap, fuck let's you. Let's wrap this, this stuff up. <laughs> okay, so right, anyways... That, this uh, was the latest uh, podcast. Yeah. What are you calling Dual Sticks still or Tech Goblin or whatever? Du yeah, it's Dual Sticks. The podcast yeah. that the Dual Sticks do in the podcast. Yeah, dual Sticks podcast. Yay! Powered by 